Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to make camera profiles from your Lightroom presets. Camera profiles are a nice addition to your Lightroom arsenal because they let you stack effects almost like layers in Photoshop. They also come with an amount slider that allows you to change the opacity of the effect. It's fairly simple to do, but there are some hidden options that can be confusing for your first time. After that though, you'll be able to make a profile in less than a minute. For this video, I'm gonna use my Sony to Canon preset. If you wanna download this preset, you can check out my Sony to Canon colors video. I'll put the link in the corner. It's pretty subtle, but it gives skin colors a warmer glow, similar to what Canon is known for. Make sure when you're adding your preset, add it to a raw image. This is a DNG file, but any raw type will work. You can make them with JPEGs, but if you primarily work with raw files, it'll save you some time later on. So camera profiles can only be made in camera raw. So first thing we wanna do is open up our image in Photoshop. The first little trick is to open it as a smart object. To do that, just right click on your image, hover over edit in, then select open as smart object in Photoshop. Now, if you look at our layer panel, it loaded in as a smart object. To open it up in Camera Raw, just double click the image on the layer and it'll open up with all of our adjustments from Lightroom. Now we wanna click on the Presets tab, which is the second from the right up here on the top. And here's the second little hidden menu. Hold down Alt or Option and click on the new preset icon. Instead of making a new preset though, it brings up the new profile dialog box. So first let's name our profile. I'm gonna call mine Sony to Canon. The next option we have is to add it to a group. By default, it's going to add it to your user profiles. If you're going to be making a lot of these later, I would recommend grouping them up just like you would with your presets, but I'm gonna leave mine just as a user profile. Okay, now under that we have current image settings to include. Yours will probably look different than mine. It's going to check all the boxes that you use to make your preset. I recommend leaving this alone unless you wanna not include something from your preset to your profile. To do that, just make sure that it's unchecked. Now we have the Advanced Settings tab with Tone Map Strength. The default is low, and make sure to keep it that way. The other options are medium and high, but they will amplify the effect of your preset, which is not what we want. The other two options are for uploading LUTs and look tables, but we're gonna make our profile strictly from Lightroom, so let's ignore these and click OK. All right, to see our newly added profile, let's go back to our Basic tab. Now we have to click this little grid icon to bring up all the profiles. Let's scroll all the way down to User Presets, and we can see our new Sony to Canon profile. We can highlight over it and you can see it's doubling up our effect. We're almost done, but there's one more hidden menu I need to show you. If you're following along, stop right here for a second and let me show you something first. If I were to right click on this profile and go to rename profile, I'm given the option to rename it, change the group and add a description, copyright and contact. Okay, let me cancel that and now I'm going to hold down alter option then hold down right click. This is weird, but now hover over rename profile and let go of right click. Notice how we now have the option to change the cluster name as well as the short and sort name. More importantly though, we now have access to the applicability options. The first one is model. Make sure it's set to images from all models and formats and not limit to JPEG images. For type, make sure that raw and not raw images is selected. For mode, make sure that color and monochrome images is selected. And finally for range, make sure that normal and high dynamic range images is selected. Those options were not default for me when I started making profiles and none of my profiles would show up for my JPEG images. Also, if you make your profile from a JPEG image and not a raw image, these default options will be different. So make sure to change them if you start with a JPEG. All right, now let's click OK and we are almost done. The final step is to restart Lightroom because none of your profiles are gonna show up until you restart. So I've already done that and have Lightroom back open. Just like in Photoshop, let's click on the grid icon in our develop module, scroll all the way down to user presets and select Sony to Canon. Now let's close out of this box and as you can see, we have the profile Sony to Canon with an amount slider. We can move that up and down until we get something that looks good. We actually have the effect being added twice right now because we have the preset as well as the new profile. But instead of resetting the image and just adding the profile, I'm actually gonna make the profile a preset. That might be a little confusing, but let me show you what I mean. Let's go to our presets, click the plus button and select new preset. I'm going to rename it Sony to Canon profile, then select check none. The only box I want checked is treatment and profile. So let's check that, then click create. Now we can reset the image and click on Sony to Canon profile. The only thing it did was change the profile to one we just made and we still have full access to all of our sliders. This effect is so subtle, we can actually change the amount to 200 and it'll still look really good. Making it a preset like we just did isn't necessary, but it does save a lot of time of having to go back to your list of profiles and selecting from that group. And that'll do it guys. Hopefully you were able to learn something new from this video as always, I appreciate all the support, and I'll see you guys on the next one.